the most difficult game in the world. It's an old game with simple movement mechanics. We are trying to pass the obstacles and finish the levels with our character, which is a red square. Although the game first seems pretty straightforward, it becomes extremely challenging in the next levels. Today we will remake the hardest game in the world, but the game will be 3D and will have RTX features. I am so excited already. So let's do it. Let's make a plan before the development stage of the game. First, we need to create movement mechanics for our character and obstacles. After creating the mechanics, we will need a map like in a real game. The map looks pretty simple and I can do it with the Unity Pro Builder system. At the last stage, I will add the RTX system to the game and the game will be completed. Then if you are ready, let's create our project and start making the most difficult game in the world. First, I created a ground for the game mechanics and adjust the camera angle as in the real game. Then I add the prototype textures that I use often. These textures are temporary. I am only using them as I am just making a game prototype at the moment. For now, I am not adding lighting system for RTX. As I said, I will switch to the lighting system after I finish the game completely. In the original version of the game, there are moving obstacles. I created a cube for this. And and added it to my scene. This cube will move from point A to point B at a constant speed. I can also do this with the Unity Animation System. In such cases, I prefer to do it with coding. Now, let's create other obstacles and place the camera angle on the top. Then I add texture to these obstacles. As you can see right now, we have three obstacles and they are moving on the ground. We are at the beginning of the game right now, but it's already looking great. Currently, I can change the speed of of the obstacles via the unity editor. So I set the speed variable as public. Now with the unity editor I can assign the desired value to the speed of the obstacles without changing the codes. As you can see our obstacle system is now completed and working very well. Now we will create the character of our game. In the original version of the game there is a red secure as a character. Likewise I added to my game. I created a cube as my game character and now we need to move it. Our character will have a very simple movement system because we will only move on two axes. We will control our character with the arrow keys on the keyboard. In the original version of the game, while we are moving, if we come into contact with the obstacles, the game ends and we are start the game again. For this by using the codes, I detect the colliders that touched our character. If the obstacles touch us, game over is written on the counter. Now it works quite well and as you can see game over messages are coming in the console. Then I created a very similar system to understand that the game is over. When we reach the green section the message game finished appears. So far we have created the mechanics of the hardest game in 3D. I think we have created a great game mechanic that is exactly the same as the original game. Now we need to visually edit our game and add the art feature. Of course, first of all, we need to map design in the first part of the game. To create the map, I draw the first level of the world's hardest game via Photoshop. Then I import this drawing into Unity and I will convert to 3D. We can create everything in the game with the cubes. I added the ProBuilder plugin to Unity. I mentioned how to use it in my previous video. Then I started to create the map via the ProBuilder system. I added the walls in the game to our map. Our game scene is almost complete as you can see. Now I am adding the obstacles and our character to the scene. I also paid attention to order in the real game. Afterward I added the code. I prepared the before to this scene to check that the game is over or finished. I created the map with ProBuilder. But now we need to create and add our own textures. For this I made textures with colors like in the original version of the game. I added all the textures to the game except the walls. I haven't added textures to the walls for now because I realized that I made the walls too thick. As a result of some work, I made all the walls in the game thinner. I added a black texture to these walls. Then I made some adjustment on the scene. Our game is more similar to the world's hardest game right now. Yes, our game is almost ready, but now we have reached a very important stage.
page. It's time to add RTX to the game. Ray tracing now as RTX is basically a system that follows all the lightings on the scene in the game and thus offers a realistic image. Since RTX was first announced, all games have been adding this feature. Thanks to RTX, the scenes in the games now look much more realistic. Playing games with the RTX feature is visually very enjoyable. Of course, there is a performance drop with RTX, but the visual feast it gives is worth it. I want to add RTX to my game. I had no idea what the RTX system was like in Unity, and I did some research to find out. Unity has a sample scene created for RTX, and I examined this scene. The environment in the stage is really beautiful. It has a great lighting system. After a few tries, I added RTX to the game. I also added post processing to the game. The game has had a very different atmosphere with my last edition. We made the world's hardest game from scratch with you today. Moreover, our game has 3D and RTX features. The final version of the game was, as you can see on the screen, the difference with RTX off and on is really huge. I like this game a lot. And if you want, we can continue to develop this game. Do not forget to write your ideas in the comments. If you want, we can publish the mobile version on Google Play. In addition, I publish my own mobile games on Google Play Store and Apple App Store. To support me, you can give me 5 stars after downloading my last game, Feel It. Thank you for watching the video until the end. See you in the next videos.